Hello GTEC Gameplay lovers, how are you? My name is Gnev Hotelis and you are on the GTEC Gameplay channel and today we are going to continue our mission The Mountain That Fell, Talk to Silence with Aloy in Horizon The Zero Dawn and if you didn't watch the previous video, go to the playlist that I create I have all those videos there and I'm publishing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn every day at 6 p.m time zone of Atlantic Canada and I'm uh, actually the horizon the zero Dawn is going live every day at 10 a.m. Atlantic Canada time zone and God of War Ragnarok is going every day at 6 p.m. so go there to watch those both games hey, and let's talk to Silas she's gone she's gone really gone, really gone. of you course know she couldn't have survived Eloy and her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your That's argument true. is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. Okay, so she's so sentimental. She's already dead. Long dead. There's no way Liz could be alive. You were born to replace her. If she were alive, you didn't need to be born. I didn't need to create you. So why are you whining about? Where did it went here? That is something here for me? Yeah, that is. Let's go there. There's something there. I don't know. Too much waste my time. Okay. And if I didn't told you already, and if you didn't watch my previous video, I'm recording those gameplay because I love to play games with you guys, and I don't want to play them alone. That's why I'm playing with you. And my main goal with those game, those gameplays is to have fun and then to practice my english that's why i'm gonna be talking about a little bit about my life every each game so i stopped when i was talking about when i create a band a uh, music band wow there's another section at the back of the crater looks like it survived the blast because it was armored you found the control room i'm on my way And then I create this band with my cousins Alexandre Nereu, Arondua, Thales Aquile And we, we, we have so fun with the band Still today we want to continue playing But now as I'm living in Canada it's possible so We can just play it online One day we're going to do it online But we need to have at least the 5G internet so it can't be possible to understand. Um add it back on time. I don't know where to go right now. So let's let's think a little bit. Oh, I found it. So we start playing for fun and we need to to have a band name. 
but we are not so creative to create a name for our band than we thought. I should go there. There's something there. I want to go there. Okay, what is this? I think I just waste my time. Let's go back. Then we didn't have so much creativity to create a good band name. And then, firstly, first of all, we need to find a place where you could uh, practice it. So the thing is, we found a place that was always in the house. So we sometimes uh, practice the music and Alexandre Nereo or uh, Aaron Duan House because they are brothers and they live in the same house so we used to go there and practice there and sometimes we went to Thales Akili House to practice there and sometimes we went to when my house hatch, to practice the there air as rushed well. in from this at side. the beginning Aaron Duan was not in the band it was the just our there. cousin and we ha we had another drum drummer in our band i'm locked out of core control alpha clearance overridden what the hell is omega clearance oh no alpha personnel sorry to alarm you but i need you to listen okay to what i'm about to say this isn't easy see uh i've uh Please, stop trying to access the set system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And wh what I'm trying to say is, so I can't stop thinking died, about yeah. the ones who come after us. Those innocents, those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? I think I can do a photo mode here. Okay. No, we can't, and it's not too late, if we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo, it's gone, all of it, every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice, it's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Oh, so everyone who died. Oh no. They all died here. He... He killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust. Scattered to the void, like the Alphas themselves. No. Not a void. When the hatch unsealed and 
scattered their ashes on the wind. It took them out among the world they made. The world we are living in. It's... It's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Okay, so things are going pretty, pretty bad here. The Master Override. That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Okay, now I have the app on to kill Hades. Return to sign the workshop. to go there. Okay. Sound good? Try not to fall to your death. The That's master right. override doesn't override gravity. Keep holding, keep holding. Okay, that's cool. Okay, and I was saying we always used to to practice music in someone's house and then we decide why not you call our band as the house the house of rock and roll so our band was called the house of rock and roll but we just call us as the house and it was a very fun time good 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 we used to play a lot, we used to go to small pubs, to uh, parties, and here. do everything. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. He's gonna die? But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Okay, speak up. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse, helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Mm. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's a code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the... I just remember right now, I think this guy that are uh, acting as scientists just died this week. I think he's the same that did the uh, Resident Evil, the seri series in Netflix that was the worst TV show that I ever watched 15 minutes from the first episode. It was ridiculous of wrong, horrible terrible it was disgusting but he was the actor of the season and I think he died he passed away with 60 years old so young but all my 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 sincerities message to his family his friends and I'm so sorry that he died but Codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end, an army to capture the Spire. Yes. 
so Hades can exterminate life all over again, unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the Jew. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it, until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land, Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. I can't imagine. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So, yes. It was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. I don't need to hear anything more. Is there nothing you want to for now? The things you've done in the pursuit of knowledge, Silence. Pure recklessness. Aloy, this wasn't a confession to elicit your judgment. <sighs> Unbelievable. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the Master Override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Hmm, good scene. Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. Oh, okay. Track the master override.
can override everything. Completed main question, the mountain that fell. I have to tell Avad that the eclipse are ready to strike. After what happened with Durval, I know he'll defend the city. With the spire. Okay, let's see. Level 34, here we are level 27. So I don't think we are capable of doing that. We should be able to to get at least a level. I don't know. Level 30? Okay. I cannot. Okay, layer. Okay. So let's go there, do this side quest. So that's it guys, I'm going to continue talking about the life when I was in the band. The band was called The House, so let's just give a summary of the band. When I was a teenager, we created this band. The first to create this band was me, you know what that is. Alexandre Nereu, my cousin, Thales Achille, and we talked to Lucas Nunes, that was a friend of Thales Achille, that will be our vocal, and we invite Ottaviano to be our drummer, and I was the guitar player, the electric guitar player, and Alexandre Nereu was the, the bass player. and. We also called a friend of our, our, our my sister, he's called one of our hands, and we started a band with six, and it was great. We did a, a show of launching, and it was crazy because we rent a stage, we rent equipments of sound, everything that you need to do a, a show, speakers, we did it on you know, our cousin's house, that is Achilles' house, and it was crazy. We invite everyone, I invite everyone at my college. I was at a college at the time, so I invite everyone. And the college I was were Unileshi, uh, Universidade de de Minas Gerais. And I invite everyone there. Some of my friends went there, some of them never went to see my band play. That's fine. And then that was crazy because we have a video of this day in YouTube. And if you search Banda de House, you're going to find the video. And this the music <laughs> where we play is for Pink, Peach, actually it's Peach. And Luana Fernandes play for a while with us and she used to have some difficult to practice with us because she was a uh, younger, she was a teenager and we should go to her house and pick her up so you can practice it. When he did uh, some events with her and then she could not play with us again and she's just grew up and played with some friends and family and it's crucial time that she went to The Voice Brazil and she passed to the trial and she was uh, one of Claudinha Leite Jews. It was amazing to see her in, the, in the, the show because she was from our band. She started with us and we were so proud of that. Even though she doesn't care anymore about that time. And then she went to other competitions of music and now she is living in the United States. She married with an American guy and now they are playing together. But they just start playing together. Both of them sing really, really well. And I saw a video of them play a music that I always wanted to play from Jason Mraz, Lucky. This music is amazing and I played it 
really, really well. And her husband sings so good, and she sings as good as he. And no, it is. And come back to the time. I don't wanna play this two time with us. And Lucas Nunes played with us for a while, for a long, long time. And Richard time that he could not play anymore with us. And then I start being the singer of the band. We used to play on pubs, we used to play on events, we used to play on parties and all those places that could pay us to, to play and you usually drink all the, the things we received, we used to drink that but it was a very very good time, you have some videos on the internet The food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, the ones Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. I think she'll be a good one for the photo mode. Okay. He could use some help if you're so inclined. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Okay, I see this. And it's close. Oh, I should find a merchant. Yeah. Let's go to this merchant because I need to buy things. I need to craft things. So I use this five time, five minute time that I have to do that. Because I really need to do it. <laughs> okay. Okay, traps and potions. Let's sell first. March to sell. Okay, lots of crafting things. Okay, I think it's everything. Now I need to buy. Okay, I have to open my tracers first. Okay, special items. Uh, I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, weapons, modifications, let's try to modify something. Okay, I don't think I have. Okay, all those things you make me weak. Okay, I need to craft the things.
need fat meat. I don't have fat meat and I don't know if I can buy fat meat. Okay, probably I should buy those things. Limited fast travel. Okay. Can buy fifty. Uh, which one is fifty? Understood. Okay, let's buy a lot of this on it. Okay, I have just six. This one I have to buy more. Okay, the others I have enough. Let's buy some. Okay, I need to buy a potion. I have nine. Okay, I want to buy this. But outfits? How much it is? I can just buy it for free? I think it was for free. Okay, let's see this. You have to open the box. Banuk cooling bow. Banuk trail blazer. Kaja might bow. And Kaja storm ranger. I didn't know I could buy those things. Wow! It's really, really good, man. I think this one for sure. Your shadow stalwart disguise was her man. Keep it. Why did some fall? You'll like what I have to say, I promise. Okay, I'm going out of some fall. Let's see this. This is some fall? Okay, we're gonna try to to understand why I cannot change it. But at least I got crazy. So that's it guys, thank you very much for watching this video. We're going to continue and the next video tomorrow. Thank you very much for all your help. I just want to understand why one is Oh, yeah, I think it, they are on the event. Right, that's it. Two guys are doing here. 
do you suppose is happening in Meridian right now? Okay. Feasting in Meridian. Let's take this. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you guys on the next video tomorrow. And I'm going to continue talking about my life because I need to play this conversation. So that's it. Thank you very much for all the support, for all the comments, and for all the likes and all the shares. Because without you, I'm not nothing. So thank you very much. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.